Hello and welcome to my fifth Blitz 3D tutorial. And in this tutorial I will be teaching you how to make and import objects into your Blitz 3D like program. So first, as you can see, uh, <laughs> I freed a space here from all of my folders. And let's create a new project folder. Just right click, new, then folder. And let's name it project one two. Oh well. Uh, project one two twelve. Whatever. So yeah. And after we've done that, let's go to our Blitz 3D uh, IDE. And this is the code that I have here for our program so far. It's just it's our bottle right here. It's gonna be I'm go I'm gonna create a bottle and import it in here. That's what we're gonna do for this tutorial. And I just have the same key controls except it's for the bottle, and I deleted the sphere code that we created like a couple of tutorials ago, so you can just do that, and a bottle's a pretty simple object, so I'm sure we can cover it in this one tutorial, so let's, oh yeah, first, and let me explain this quickly, it's that there are, we, we have to save this blitz 3 d document in the same folder as we're going to save the bottle file we make, so that we can access it from this IDE. So they have to be in the same archive or folder so we can access it and put it into this program. So I hope I've cleared that up. And then just click on this little save button and then just save it in the folder. Let me select uh, one sec. <laughs> this is probably going to take some time. Project 12. There we go, and save it as a .bb file, Blitz3D, Blitz basic file, and let's just name it uh, bottle test. Yeah, and save that. And once we have that done, let's just close this or minimize that icon. And what we'll be using to create our objects is this thing called Auto, a program called Autodesk 3ds Max 2010. And what that does, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll include a link for the 30-day free trial. Uh, it's obviously a paid software, and it's usually used to make cool animated videos, but it can be used to make objects, too. So, uh, yeah, and it takes a long time to open, so I've already opened an icon right here. And, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, oh, one sec. Now... Yeah, I'll start with a new project file, and here it is. You'll see this IDE, this whole, like, thing. And you'll probably get familiar with it. And this isn't a professional tutorial for Autodesk. And, yeah, if, you wanna, if you're looking for that, this isn't the thing for you. So, it's just a quick, like, how to make an object in this. And this IDE, so what you're going to do is click on this this uh, window that says left on it, right here. Just click on it, and then click on the camera viewport toggle button. It's right here. And just click on that, and then you'll see the left view maximized. And what you're going to do now is click on the create list, and click on the shapes uh, icon, then click on line. And I've chose the initial type and drag type to be both corners. So here we are, and not too big, not too small. Just draw something that looks like a bottle, following this model. Drag it here, click here, click here. And I'm just doing a really rough uh, model here. So you can take time on yours if you want. And then when you finish, just drag it to the same point where you started, and click on it, and when it says close spline, click on yes. And there you have it. So now let's well yeah, and make sure the bottle intersects in both in all four squares. So and after that, just just toggle the viewport again. And then we have our full IDE here. And then click on the modify, modify list. And then on the modifier list, just scroll down, and scroll down till you find lab. 
I don't, I'm not sure how to pronounce that correctly. Just click on it, and there you have it. You will have your small little bottle. It automatically drew out all the coordinates on the X and Y, Z axis. So to actually view it better, it automatically puts it in moving mode. You can just move it up or left, drag it left to drag both of these. You can move it on the Z and the X axis. Well, I mean, and to rotate it, rotate it, just click on this rotate button. And to rotate on all axes, just click right here and rotate it. And then just, uh, and these objects in Blitz 3D appear much bigger than they really are in this IDE. So just, we need to scale it to a much smaller uh, size. So to do that, just put like uh, your cursor in the middle so that it highlights all axes and then just drag out down and after you've done that just go to the file menu and then say export then go to export selected and then let's just save it as a 3ds 3ds file 3d studio file and let's save it as bottle 5 and yeah so after just click save and when it says preserve max texture coordinates click OK so that's it you have your bottle file created and it can only be viewed in the Blitz 3D uh, sorry and I actually saved it in the incorrect folder so <laughs> I'm just gonna have to drag it out yeah, sorry, just wait for me to drag it out and just skip to a more interesting part in this tutorial. Ah, there we go. Sorry. Model 5. There's, there we go. Okay, yeah, sorry about that. And now let's just go back to our Blitz 3D. And after that, make sure that in the Project 12 folder, Make sure that we have both files, bottle 5 and bottle testing, each in the same directory, Archer. So now let's maximize our Blitz 3D icon. And there we go. And in this create bottle section, I'm just going to write create a variable, bottle equals, and then load mesh. And what this command does it loads the mesh from a file into the variable bottle and here in quotes we specify the name of the file in the archip so it's just bot sorry bottle 5 and that's it we bottle equals load mesh bottle 5 dot 3ds and that's it we loaded the icon we loaded our file and then Position it, position, entity, bottle, comma, zero, comma, zero, comma, five. And if you actually run this program now, you run it, you will see absolutely nothing. Well, except white. You know why? Because even we sc even when we scaled it in the uh, uh, Autodesk IDE, it's still too big. So use the scale entity command that we learned earlier. Scale entity bottle comma zero point zero no zero point one comma zero point one comma zero point one and we might actually see something this time. So just run it and there we go. We have our small bottle imported into our IDE. And if you try, you can move it with your arrow keys yeah so it's not that big of a file <laughs> or project but this is just to make you understand the basic concept of importing objects and how to do that with a really simple file so you can actually color it if you want but I'm not going to do that because this is just a quick tutorial so thanks for watching and in the next tutorial I think I'll show you how to import a scene, and after that we'll uh, move on to like more advanced concepts and start actually creating small games.
and we'll learn a lot on the way. So, thanks for watching, and see ya.